Hey everybody, and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make assets in Krita. So it's like, or I'll be show assets in Krita because I never see people like this. And also because I got, um, I think like two requests to do it or something like that. Or just a tutorial in general. Anyways, um, getting straight to it. Here is how I make my assets in Krita. For simplicity's sake, I will be making a basic circle. And by the way, there is a sheet on the internet which shows you how you should shade your objects. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using that guide. Based on the style your under show is going for, you're going to choose what pixel size the outlines of the characters are. For me, I usually use between 7 to 9. For this one, I'm going to be using 6. Don't forget to use vector layers when making your assets in Krita, so you can edit them afterwards if you do not like the size. For example, if you were to make a circle in with a regular layer, and you wanted to resize it because you didn't think it looked good, or maybe because it was too big for you, well, the width of the line is going to shrink, and you do not want that when you're making assets. I personally had to find that out the hard way. Side note, when you are resizing, with um, a vector layer. Make sure you use the Select Shapes tool instead of the Transform a Layer or a Selection tool. Starting with the basics, I will center this by using the Mirror Lines as my guiding. Use the Cursor tool and put it in the center, using these as your guide. Now, you want to use the Wands tool and select the inside of your sphere. Then create a separate layer and use a placeholder color. If you want to, you can name the layers. Now, what, you know, what you're going to want to do next is to pick up your basic color. What I usually do is I put the basic color into a group. Then, I'll grab the color I want. In this case, I will be using a lighter shade of purple and putting it on a separate layer. Then, I will use the fill tool to mask it. So now it's purple. But if I wanted to change it layer with, without increasing the size of the circle, then I could just use the mask layer and change it to a different color. Now, you're going to want to make a separate vector layer, or a paint layer for this one, it doesn't matter, since you're going to change it to a paint layer regardless. Then, you are going to want to create another circle. It doesn't matter what the size of the circle is. It could be this size, it could be around the same size as your current circle. It doesn't matter. We are going to be using this circle as our shading tool. Now, what you want to do when you're happy with that is convert it to a paint layer. And sure, it still says vector layer here, but you'll know it's a paint layer when you have the ability to use the fill tool. Then, you can proceed to mess around with the colors you want to use for your shading. Then, when you're done with that, you can mask over top. Another way you could do your shading is by doing what I do. Convert to a paint layer. Make a group. Filter. Mask. Mask the group, by the way, not the paint layer. Make another layer. Get a color. For example, dark purple. Mask it over the paint layer. And then mess around with the different filters. And also change the opacity. with the color of your shading, then we can finally move on to the last step. That is deciding the color for the outline. What you're going to do is grab the color using the eyedropper tool, then darken it, and use the fill tool. And then you are done with your character. That's basically all. That's what I've been doing for the past almost a year now. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. Um, bye.